One of the things that really fascinates me about this block is trying to process this from Nephi's perspective. Like he's, he's still not married, he's still in the old world, right? He has, he has no idea really what he's in for and he already knows the end. Um, he's already seen the destruction of his seed, right? And well, the impact that must have had on him. But as, as we kind of look and see how Nephi develops as a, as a thinker, as a, as a lover of scripture, you look at the themes of these chapters, right? Chapter 11 is about the mortal Messiah. Chapter 12 then in turns the scattering of Israel. Chapter 13, the gathering of Israel in the latter days. And then chapter 14, the triumphant Messiah who's gonna come at the second coming. And you ask yourself, well, who else in scripture really hits those themes hard? And it's Isaiah, mm -hmm. right? The, most of the text of Isaiah is kind of jumping around from those four different themes. And so you can kind of see perhaps the, the genesis of Nephi's love of Isaiah coming from this vision as he recognizes, hey, here's someone who's had a similar experience that I have had. Here's somebody who's talking about things that I need to make sure I understand and that I pass on to my readers.